What's up, everybody? So today I got to talk about JSON files using JavaScript. JSON means JavaScript Object Notation. It's a data interchange format. Most of the time, it's used for exchanging data between a server and a web application. They can have a few different formats. Usually, you'll see a JSON file as an object, an object made up of key value pairs. Or you may see them as an array, an array of values, or some combination of both. You can have an object where one of the values is an array. And or you could have an array of objects like this. Just to understand the format, we'll create a new JSON file. Let's go to our website folder, create a new file. We'll create an array of names. The file extension is JSON. We'll begin by writing an array with a set of straight brackets. Let's add a few names, just some first names. SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy. This is a valid JSON format. Let's create a new JSON file just for a single person. This will be an object. New file, person.json. This time, we will create a single object. This object will have key value pairs. We will have a name key and a value of SpongeBob. Each key value pair is going to be comma separated. SpongeBob will have an age key of 30 and a Boolean of is employed. Is SpongeBob currently employed? That will be true. This is also a valid format. Our JSON file contains one object, an object made up of key value pairs. Objects can even have arrays as one of their values. We will create an array of hobbies. What does SpongeBob like to do? This will be an array. Jellyfishing, karate, and cooking. Let's create one more JSON file. We will create a JSON file for people. This will be an array of objects. People.json. We're going to create an array of objects. Within this array, we'll create one object. What key value pairs should this object have? We'll just reuse what we have for SpongeBob, excluding the array to keep it simple. OK, that will be the first object. Let's create another object. We need another set of curly braces. The second object will have a name property of Patrick. Age 34 is employed will be false. The next object, this will be for Squidward. Age 50 is employed true. He works at the Krusty Krab. One last object, name Sandy, age 27 is employed false. Sandy is self-employed. All right, we have an array of objects. Each object can have its own unique key value pairs. So let's close out of these JSON files, but we'll hold on to them. So JSON formats, they're one long string to represent that object or array. Using the stringify method of JSON, we can convert a JavaScript object or an array into a JSON string. So let's copy what we have for names. I will create a constant of names equals that array. We'll convert it to a JSON string. Const JSON string equals access JSON. JSON is a built-in object that's provided to us to work with JSON files. We will use the stringify method, then pass in our array or our object. Currently, if I were to console.log my names before stringifying it, here's the result. We have an array of strings to work with. After using the stringify method on names, we'll be given one long string to represent this array. If I was to use this on an object, let's copy what we have for person. I will create a const of person. This will be an object. I'll just paste what I have for SpongeBob. First, let's console.log person. Here's my person object. Then let's stringify it and display the JSON string. JSON files work with one long string that represents an object or an array. Let's stringify our people. It's an array of objects. 
const people equals paste what we have. Let me show you what happens when I console.log people before stringifying it. We have an array of objects. Each object has its own key value pairs. Then if I was to stringify it, here's the result. One extremely long string. Now we'll use parse. Parse converts a JSON string to a JavaScript object. So let me reformat these. To convert these objects or arrays into a string, we can surround them with a pair of backticks. So let's rename these. Let's say JSON names, JSON person, then JSON people. These objects and arrays are all in a JSON format. To convert them to their original form, we can use the parse method of JSON. I will create a constant of parsed data equals JSON dot parse. Pass in our data of JSON names, and then let's console dot log. Let me show you JSON names first before parsing it. We have a string representation of an array. But after parsing it, it becomes a JavaScript array. Let's do this with our string representation of an object, JSON person. Normally it looks like this. And then after parsing it, we have a JavaScript object. And then JSON people, it's an array of objects. Then we'll parse it. And here's the result, an array of objects. Now I'm gonna show you how we can fetch a JSON file. We'll talk about fetch more in the next topic. Fetch is a function. As an argument, we can pass in a relative or absolute file path or a URL. We'll discuss that in the next topic. I would like to get my JSON file of, let's go with person. So I will list the relative file path. These files are right next to each other. I just need to type person.json. Fetch returns a promise. We will follow this with the then method. Then do this. We'll be provided with a response object. Take our response, arrow, do this. We will take our response object, convert it to a JSON format using the JSON method. Then let's display what we have currently. Then take the value, arrow, console.log that value. Let's see what we have. Yep, there's SpongeBob. We have successfully fetched a JSON file. Let's do this with our array of names. We have an array of strings of first names and people, people.json. We have an array of objects, one object for each person. If you would like to iterate through all the objects, let's rename value as values. We'll use the built-in for each method of arrays values dot for each take each value arrow do this console dot log each value now we're iterating through and printing each object if you would like some of the specific properties like name follow the value with name spongebob patrick squidward sandy or age or is employed Oh, and another thing that I'm forgetting. Be sure to add a catch method to catch any errors, just in case we can't fetch this JSON file for some reason. Console.log or console.error, the error message. We'll talk about fetch more in the next topic. All right, everybody, so those are JSON files. JSON means JavaScript Object Notation. It's a data interchange format. It's mostly used for exchanging data between a server and a web application. JSON files are usually objects, or an array, or some combination of both. To convert a JSON object to a string, you can use the stringify method. To convert a JSON string to an object, you can use the parse method. To fetch a JSON file, you can use the fetch function, which we'll talk about next, and get more in depth with. 
And well, everybody, those are JSON files using JavaScript.